Good morning, everybody. At least for me. Not sure when this is going to post yet. But it's your friend Will. It's the memory lapse. Playing a blue black Godfrey's Gift. Kind of mid rangey um, deck that focuses on getting the Godfrey's Gift out pretty quickly between Stitcher's, uh, Stitcher's Guy and the other one drop that lets you mill yourself. And our first round was pretty uneventful. We played against a budget deck and kind of rolled them over once we got our God for those gifts going. But yeah, this list, like I said before, 5 owed a Magic Online standard event, which made me interested in trying it. I've always wanted to play with this. So let's boot him. Essence scatter. Cast out. Fumigate. Settle. Hmm. I think the card that we want to take is the cast out. That actually answers our gift. They're pretty. They only have one land, though. Yeah, let's take the cast out so they can't cycle it. I think that they might be inclined to essence scatter this because I think they'll be like, what the heck? Yeah. But I want to actually get this one in. Uh, so now they know Jiga's up. So here's their Settle the Wreckage. Which I think I don't want to play into too hard. And now I think they're more or less forced to like Fumigate here. If they want to play their Teferi. So we play this, and then they're going to want to cast it out. Two, three, four. Or they're going to play like Teferi and uh, tuck it away. All right, so they're doing the Teferi tuck away. The old Teferi tuck away. Okay. So let's just play our Ballista here. Play our Ballista for two. Very.
little worried about the cast outs in this matchup because we don't really have a, uh, any kind of removal for them. I guess we don't want them to settle here. Hmm. Does mean they have more cast outs, I guess, huh? I think we're okay with them countering this here. This the the game plan is to eventually get a gift going. Okay. All right, they seal that away. So we have six. If we ever draw our gate. This is gate five. It's loud. Also, we can just keep drawing lands. Well, this is going to be a good test to see how well we can actually grind out a win here. So I'd say like we're a little bit behind. Although I think with this deck it's pretty deceptive. Settle, settle, negate. Okay, so we want the negate. Gate would have stopped the God Pharaoh's gift. No bueno. And now we have to get through. Two settles. And did they draw dis disallow? That would be brutal. Yeah. That's right, friend. So they're going to settle here, so we're only going to attack with the minimum. And then 
next turn we set up another uh, gift. So this way, even if they're lying, it's like used to ferry to, to tuck the gift. We're okay. All right, so they're not gonna tuck the gift. They're just gonna lean on their settles and hope it's enough. So a planeswalker. Artifact. So this is good because now we can, unless I drew another cast out here, put them in a situation where we get to preserve the freebooter. Although now that we have both of these down, like I don't think the gate, the gate actually does anything. Ooh, freeboot. That's right. Cast out on one of the gifts on the free boot. And I get the settle back. Do I have another down here? I don't, but we'll find one. So we'll take champion. We should also be like milling them with these stitch suppliers, bringing them back. Yeah, so we give them the gate back here. Eh. I do like this. I think they'll still settle here. If this freebooter goes anywhere, I want to go to the graveyard, not removed. Okay. I could find some disallows here to cancel some triggers. Well, that's not really amazing for them. Yeah, I think we're probably bringing back Scarab God.
just draining them down. has to hit me shoot okay yeah I think we have one freebooter left. I wonder if it's worth trying to dig for it. Alright, yeah, so let's just stop in their upkeep here. exactly what I wanted to try to get. But because they drew the blink, actually it was not fine. Uh, that's kind of a blowout. Mostly because they draw s or they gain so much life here. ourselves so much. Damn, they drew exactly what they needed. Blink of an eye into Fumigate. So my the line there was I wanted to on their upkeep or on their draw step uh, bring back a freebooter. The problem was with the blink of the eye that they just get to bounce the freebooter token and get their whatever I take back. So that blink was, was so good for them. And if they still have it, so I can't really interact. Ugh. Our scare of God's gone for good. Yeah, looks like we lost this one. That was the key turn, and we needed things to work out. I might have been misplaying a little bit around their settle, because they never had to use it. Which is concerning. <laughs> I double settle. All right. So let's take the blank. Get Ballista and
Maybe this is a way to win. They can always disallow this last trigger. Possible our opponent punted here. Let's just get back double minister and start milling them with it. Three to fairies. Which way they're gonna go with it? Oh, with the blank. I think they have to go for it now. They don't want me to grow this to six. Machine gun them down. Ballistas in this deck. They're gonna disallow a trigger now. Oh no, looks like not. Gear Hulk. Gear Hulk for disallow? I just want to bring back the one ballista. Double disallow, you got it. We're not going to use this since we're so low. We're just going to use it as a blocker. We still have this plan. Although if they have a commit to memory, I mean if they have a commit to memory, I think we're fine, right? 
Uh, eh, actually no, like we lose our whole library more or less, or our whole graveyard of goodies. And we have 11 cards like RFG'd. This is going to be really close. This is kind of a fun one. It turned into a fun one. This is just game one. They hit Fumigate here. Commit. Committing a God Pharaoh's Gift. Oh, I think we actually win because of the new rivulets. step. So now they don't get a chance to play their memory. They had to play commit and memory there. Get ministered. Oh, does this let them play the other half of it? If that's the case, that sucks. I thought it only let them play the commit half, but this could be one of those weird rules things, yeah. Um. Alright folks, this one's not over. Takers gonna be dope here. Now, unfortunately, I have all their fumigates gates back. But if they fumigate away their gear hulks. Now if they go to minus this, alright, hold on, 
I think we're okay here. I think we can engineer a way to win, even if they have a settle here, because they're going to have to... I think I do that. So that goes to the graveyard. So they don't have Settle Mana, they do have Disallow Mana. But if they disallow this trigger, they're dead to our Walking Ballista. have to disallow the trigger. We got there. That was a really long one. How long was that one? 34 minutes. Okay, well, we're going in for more. We take out the hostage takers. We want the siphoners. We want to rest. meant to take out here probably like two ballistas to be honest I think we're supposed to do it like this you're not normally supposed to go that long I think <laughs> to the point where you're like bringing back ballistas and using the chip away We found the win. I'm surprised. I guess I never seriously considered scooping that one, but it felt a couple points it felt like wow we, we don't have a lot of resources left here like a lot of the f triggers don't do very much We get Freebooter. This is very similar to the hand we kept before. Ooh, Siphoner. Siphoner is going to be better in a potential game three. 
this way, even if they counter this, we still get to. Oh, if they counter it, we don't get to look. But if they if it comes into play and they have an answer for it, we still get a look here. Commit to memory. Invoke, disallow, seal away. I guess we'll take the disallow. Counted our one one. Interesting move. I guess we're just playing into the seal away here. Oh, actually, no. I forgot that the minister created energy. Wow. This gives us an opening to resolve Scarab God. Boot it up. Essence scatter. Siphoner. I think we just go for Scarab God here. I feel like they have to have drawn really well. And this gets answered by the invoke. Alright, so stop in the upkeep. That helps them find answers. Double bottom is good for us. It means they're taking two randoms. And, uh, alright, so Teferi is a medium term answer for them. Even if they uh, talk the Scarab God, though, we get a free hit. And we get to resolve Gate. Not sure what this does for them. Because it lets them get a seal away down. One, two. Probably worth it to mill here. One, two, three, four. 
Oh no, I used up the rest of my energy. Um, oh, I'll do it like this. We need to hit two creatures here. One, two, three, four, five. That doesn't do it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think we still run this out. Or we can get down under, under the gate. We're going to have to get through this first invoke eventually. I think I misplayed. I should have just kept playing the Scare of God game. I got super greedy. I mean, even if we had flipped the gate there, it wouldn't have been that good, because we would have gotten one God for us gift activation. No, we wouldn't have, because we would have flipped it post-combat, and they would have just invoked it. So, that whole line, that whole line of thinking was really bad. I should have just, like, taken the free to fairy hit. And uh, just calmly waited until I found my next. Next Scarab God. It's good. Good for them. I'm gonna have to save that energy, I guess, for a future siphoner. Now they're disallow back. We don't want to draw that. At this point, we're just looking for gift, or gate, or uh, champion woods. And we're holding this land for a champion of woods draw. Hmm. Alright, we might, we might actually be scooping this one soon we don't have any action here. We misplayed that sequence of turns and we put ourselves in like a
top deck in situation against an active Visconta. Alright, yeah, let's let's scoop and go to game three. On the play. I don't think I want to make any changes. They probably only have one or two invokes, so I don't think they have a ton of disenchants. So if we get a good hand where we can actually do stuff, do think we have a decent shot. And obviously we, we've we shown from game one that we can go long if we get a God Pharaoh's gift in play. It's just a lot of things for them to have to answer and they get overloaded eventually. Yeah, this is keepable. Keepable in the sense that it's like a lot of deck velocity and a lot of redundancy like into essence scatter. So they don't seal away. Makes sense. This is only punished by a syncopate. I think we're discarding gift and fetid pool. We want to play this next champion. This is playing in seal away. Champion again, auto tap. I really don't want to use that energy, so. Yeah, we're punished. We'll go for Squire first. Okay, we'll go for 
for gate. I expect I still eat a counter spell of some kind. The worst sequence here would be like if this gets countered and then they get to untap and uh, fumigate us. But even so, it's not like the end of the world because this champion would go to the graveyard. We're not too far from bringing it back. Very plus. Let's see if they have another negate. They don't. We have zero creatures in the graveyard, however. It's a pretty big gamble by them. the one out of the graveyard so we can draw the one in the library. Well, it would be pretty bad if they untap and disenchanted here, but we still get to bring back these champion of wits, so... Do we have any other goodies down here? Disallow this trigger. Yeah, they do. I don't think we mind them trading disallows for triggers. <coughs> that works out for us in the long run pretty well. See what they're working with here. This would make a help us decide if we want to just try to slam this Godfrey's gift pre combat or not. Essence scatter to fairy. Alright, so we'll take the to fairy, slam the gift. Take our champion back. Get our other gift. Um, true land. Kill their Teferi. So now, even if they commit, 
or if they memory, it's like not even that great for them. I think they might have to do a panic memory here though. But then we can rivulet ourselves. Reflating ourselves is probably the best thing we can do here. Just to get something going. Okay. I just want redundancy here. Good for nine. They're on a clock here, too, so. Fume gate would be good. Make sure I tap this right. This is like a little bit of insurance, I guess. <laughs> How's this worded? I think we're going to attack with three. This gets settled, it gets settled, and then we get to play a uh, siphoner. Rip these lands out of our deck. I think we even Ballista for one here. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, so that twelfth land lets us Ballista for six potentially. This is a pretty similar situation to where we had them last game and we ended up winning. They've blown their memory now too, so milling them out potentially becomes a strategy. But I think that they're so low on life that we're going to get there. Two, three, four. We need two more creatures. They double bottom, so they're probably looking for another... Uh,
Another settle the wreckage is my guess. I'm gonna do this. This guarantees we can go get our second gift. It's basically the perfect sequence of draws here. So we can duress them first. Essence scattered blank settle. Take the settle. Flip the gate. Get our other gift. Moving to our attack step. Freebooter. Now they need to use their blink in response if they want to blink something. Okay. So freebooter again, take the essence scatter. Hit them for six. And ballista. That was a long one. I'm glad I scooped that game too as quickly as I did, because this one ended up going an hour. But, look at that. Finished our quest, got our second win, undefeated with Blue Black Gift, playing against Blue White Control. That's a long, grindy matchup, very cool. Lots of rooms, room to make mistakes on both sides. I think our opponent, unfamiliar with the deck, made some mistakes there, uh, especially in that first game. So, okay, that's it. I have to get ready to go to work because this video went about 35 minutes longer than I planned. Stay tuned for the next round with uh, Blue Black Gift.